are you a grinder or a glider? And they sound very similar, but they're totally different things. A grinder is somebody who works through the pain. So you saw my Instagram post last night, it was three in the morning. So I am on night float, I get very little sleep. I got about an hour of sleep last night. Instead of just sitting there waiting for the next page to come in, I pull my work out and I get to work. I'm creating PowerPoints, I'm creating journal articles, I'm creating these videos, all these things at night while I'm waiting for calls to come in. I'm on that grind at three in the morning. I can sit there and be not working, but I'm grinding, right? Grinding, grinding, grinding every day in that grind mode, doing that. And people say grind mode all the time and they just throw it out there, but it's a real thing, it means something. If you are in grind mode, you know it, right? And just like when we know we didn't do enough for our test, we know we're not in grind mode. And if you're not in grind mode, I'm telling you right now, you will not get to medical school. You will not, absolutely not. Because the most important factor in you getting to medical school is if you're willing to work and do more than other people are willing to do to get into medical school. You know, I, <laughs> I was looking through some emails that people sent me uh, <laughs> recently, and one email said, Andre is the hungriest guy I've ever met. He's always on the grind. And it made me smile because I hope that people are saying that about me because that's how I feel. I feel like no one is outworking me. No one's out grinding me. No one's putting in the hours I'm putting in. And when you put in those hours, you know you're doing more than everybody else. And now you're doing more than everyone else. You're doing it smarter than everyone else. You can't help but be successful. You can't help but end up at Stanford. You can't help those things, right? Because that's the, that's, that's the way the world works. You put in the time, you get the success. That's it. Time and energy equals success. That's all it is. So that's what a grinder is, right? A glider, on the other hand, is which is what a lot of people, a lot of students are. They're gliders. When things, a glider is like a hang glider. Think about that, right? A hang glider will only go where the wind takes it. And that's what gliders in real life are doing. So they're the pre-meds who are all gung-ho about it. I'm pre-med. This is amazing. And then when they have a setback, when they get a C, when they get to a class they don't know very well, they quit or they just shut down mentally and they don't perform. They don't know how to push through it, right? They're a glider. They can only go where the wind takes. They can't turn against the wind and put it, put their head down and just burrow through it, right? So you have to figure out, are you a grinder or a glider? And you may not be all of one all the time. You might be on your grind sometimes on your glide the other times. But if you want to get to medical school, if you want to be successful, you can never be gliding. You always got to be grinding. You got to be doing whatever it takes to get to your goal. That's what it is. That simple. Grinder or a glider. You can't be this person who... When everything is positive, you're going with it. But when things get negative, you just give up and, and, and oh, okay, it's too hard. It's too difficult. That would be too much work, right? You say that to yourself or do other people you know say that, right? People say it all the time. Don't be that person. If something is difficult or is hard, right? People ask me, I was at a modern day the other day, a couple weeks ago, giving a talk. And someone said, that seems like a lot of school and that seems hard about going to medical school. And... I was there with another physician and we were laughing after the fact. Uh, but in that moment, I said to her, I said, is anything that's easy to achieve really worth achieving, right? Does it feel good when something's easy? Or does it feel better and really, really rewarding when something is hard, is challenging, and you have to grind? How good does that victory feel? When you got into college and you got your acceptance letter to some great school, how good did that feel, right? It felt amazing because you knew that you've been working hard for four years, right? Crying, sweating, doing all these things you want to do to get that letter, right? It's like in relationship. I like to use relationship analogies. Everyone has relationship stuff, but it's like the person who's, it's like a lot of times with women is that they're really into a guy, right? Because he's cool and he's mysterious. And then when the guy says, hey, I like you, the girl's like, nah, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind, of, it's kind of easy. I don't know. I don't know, right? You want that chase. You want that struggle. And so that's what makes things sweet. So if you're not willing to grind, you're not going to get where you want to go. And also your victory is going to be really shallow and not the rewarding type that you really want. So you've got to be on that grind, doing what you have to do. So um, with that said, I want to leave you guys with a story. One of the ultimate grinders. So... There was a young high school student who wanted to play basketball in college, and he's an okay average basketball player. And he was in Southern California, going to school in Los Angeles, and he was working um, as hard as he could, but he wasn't very good. 
And going into his senior season, he had zero Division I scholarship offers. Okay? None. And he wanted to go to these big programs, and they were looking at him, but their offers weren't there. He spent the summer between his junior and senior year grinding, working every day, working out, getting better, doing things to do, shooting a million jumpers a day, doing all these things. And he worked, and he worked, and he worked, and he worked, and he had an excellent senior season. At the end of that season, or somewhere in that season, he was offered a scholarship to UCLA. And it was actually UCLA's last scholarship for that year. And he was an afterthought. And people were saying, why would you offer this guy last scholarship spot? You give it to someone else. This guy hasn't been highly recruited. All these things. He heard all that. And it motivated him. He worked even harder after that. So in between his senior year and going into college, he worked even harder. He continued that grind. He was grinding, grinding, grinding. He got to college. He was grinding, grinding, grinding. Doing the little things. Working harder than everyone else. And in the end, that person was able to actually leave college early. Leave UCLA early into the draft and was a top draft pick, right? That person is now Russell Westbrook, the starting point guard for the Oklahoma City Thunder and one of the best point guards in the league. And if you watch him play, you see his tenacity, you see his grind, and you can see where that story comes from, right? That's what you have to be. You may not be ready yet. You may not be the age student yet, but if you set personal achievement goals and you say, listen, every day I'm gonna put a thousand jumpers up. Every day, I'm going to review these problems for an hour. All those hours we put together, and if you're grinding, eventually you will become a superstar. You'll be the Russell Westbrook of medical applicants. That's what you want to do. But you have to put the time and effort in, and you have to be able to say, listen, I'm a grinder, not a glider. It doesn't affect me that you don't believe in me, that you're not recruiting me, that people are telling me I'm not good enough. You don't need their support. You don't need to, right? The, you know, the wind beneath my wings, Lee Young. You don't need them to puff you up. You puff yourself up. You said, you know, it's hard right now. People don't believe me. It's all right. I believe in myself because I know I'm going to get better every day. I'm a new Kanai, and my best will be good enough. I will be able to achieve whatever I want to achieve through my hard work, my good planning, and prioritizing. So be a grinder. Use your performance goals to keep you motivated, to keep you on that grind and reach your goals. That's it for today. I'm also on Instagram, at Dominate Premed. Go to my Facebook, like the Facebook group. That's the, if you're gonna do any of these, like the Facebook group. There's a lot of centralized things on there. Lots of great information constantly coming out. It keeps you in the loop. So that's the Premed Productivity Expert on Facebook. Get on there, like the group. The last thing is, YouTube channel and my website, premedproductivity.com, and then I'm also the Premed Productivity Expert on YouTube, all these things. I'm trying to help students, so if you can get the word out and let people know that there's someone out there that's bringing real, trustworthy advice, actually cares about the students, is going to get you where you want to go, tell them. Say, hey, listen, you need to see this guy's YouTube channel. The Premed Productivity Expert is the man. You've got to see his lectures. So please tell a friend. Please come back.